are out on the wreck site of the Atocha. We're sitting on top of the Bank of Spain, and we're about six miles from the main pile of the Atocha, which is where they found the mother load in 1985, about $450 million in treasure that day, and uh, we're looking for more here. You excited, Billy? Oh, yeah. We actually search uh, one circle at a time. We use our mailboxes, which are the prop wash deflectors, to push the water downward and move the sand out of the way. This creates a circular area for our divers to meticulously look for the treasure. And uh, it takes about 15 to 20 minutes to do a, uh, a search in the area that we are in now. And uh, we'll do that all day long, sun up to sundown. And in this area right here, a lot of gold has been found. So we're hitting this area really hard. Say our detectors can only penetrate, let's say, this deep. Uh -huh. If there is a gold bar here, four inches away, our detectors don't hit it. We don't even know it's there. So the key is to keep going over the same area to expose more bedrock, to shift you know, what the bottom composition is. That way, you can uncover this stuff. We have with us members from the Atocha Dive Adventure, which is the opportunity that the general public has to actually come dive and search for treasure alongside our professional divers. And uh, this is the area we believe the treasure is, and so they're diving on the active wreck site of the Atocha, and uh, they could be finding anything down there right now. Maybe it's the fact of buried treasure, and then when you say sunken treasure, you think of pirates, battles with cannons on the high seas, wooden ships sinking and you swim up and find parts of it or maybe a lot and gold and I've been uh, doing this for 33 years 23 of those years have been spent on the Santa Margarita and the Atocha wreck site. Uh, July 20th of uh, 1985 two days before we found the mother load we were finding thousands of silver coins, copper ingots barrel hoops, pottery, and some other uh, silver artifacts. On July 20th, we found what we called the mother load of the Atocha. Uh, myself and another diver, Greg Wareham, swam out of the hole to the southeast, about 100 feet, and there was what we called the mother load. Uh, it was the 900, over 900 bars of silver, 150,000 silver coins, gold, silver artifacts, it was all in what was called the main pile or the mother load, 75 feet long and 20 feet wide, about 6 feet tall. It was very exciting, I can't explain that feeling other than a wonderful feeling of accomplishment. To be part of the team that discovered what was Mel Fisher's dream, it was kind of overwhelming and it still is today when I really think about it. This is Cuban river rock. This is a ballast stone from the Atosha. See how you got concretional growth on it? And you can tell that the stone does not look like anything else down there. Everything down there is a pale white, a cream color. So we know for a fact that this came off the wreck. So far, one of our participants in the Atocha dive adventure found a piece of glazed pottery, which is more rare than the, than the standard pottery and it would have been owned by somebody of a higher rank on board the Atocha. I look at every artifact as something from the Span a Spanish galleon, whether it's the Atocha or some other wreck. You're looking for the Atocha. You just found a piece of it. It doesn't have to be an emerald cross to get excited. It's history, and if you any if, if you like history, you just found history. Long time ago. Yeah, pretty cool. Huh? Knowing that there's a lot of treasure still to be found on these two Spanish galleons, according to the manifest, we know what we found and we know what's left. And what's left is more than most Spanish galleons carried up just with what's left. So it's worth for us to continue searching for the remains of the Atocha. It's a tremendous amount of treasure.